Hey everyone, so I've been looking at how workshop maps have disappeared from Rocket League under the new Epic Games version of the game. However, there may seem to be a workaround for this as I mentioned this in my previous video. If you haven't checked this out, the link is in the description. Workshop maps are a foundation for improving game mechanics, boost management and just to help you improve overall. I haven't had the opportunity to try out workshop maps, but I believe this may be a workaround until Epic Games decide on putting these into the game, which at the moment I don't see happening. Firstly, before I start to get into the nitty gritty stuff, thank you for tuning into this video and if you like what you see, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe as I won't be making videos without you guys. Anyways, back to the purpose of this video. So you want to try out some workshop maps, but there may be a catch. If you have the Steam version of the game, then there shouldn't be an issue, but if you haven't, then things can get a little bit tricky. Firstly, you need to know the workshop URL and then use this to download the workshop files manually. I've included a link to a few in the description. There is also a handy reddit forum that may explain how to do this further, also included below. To ensure that workshop maps load into Rocket League, firstly, you would need to download the files from Steam Workshop Download.io. Once you have downloaded the file, you would just need to extract the UDK file, but before you do this, make sure to rename this file to a more suitable name, pick a map that you do not play often on Freeplay and find the older version of the map in the Cooked PC console folder. Rename this and just add a backup on the end so you don't get rid of the file. So now you've done this, copy this name and replace the name in the downloaded file with this name but just take off the backup and make sure to put instead of .udk, .upk. So now this has been done, just drag this file into the cooked PC console folder and that's it. You're good to go. So now this has been done, you can now start the game. Once the game has started, you will need to load this map in free play on the map you have chosen. So underpass in this instance, just to ensure the workshop map loads. I believe you can do this with a variety of custom maps, so I believe this is currently the workaround at the moment to introduce any workshop maps into the Epic Games version of Rocket League. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope this helps you into putting workshop maps into Rocket League on Epic Games. And if you'd like to see videos such as this one in the future, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I hope this has helped you. Anyways guys, my name is Az, thank you for watching, peace out.